Welcome back to Newfoundland for part three of Team Wild's Carnivore Moose Meat Special. Previously on Team Wild's Carnivore, we harvested a young bull moose with a pretty challenging shot. If you haven't seen that video yet, click on this link. Then Ironbound Outfitters Master Moose Guide Donny Benoit showed us just how easy it can be for one person to field dress a massive animal like our moose. If you haven't seen that video, click on this link. So now the animal is dressed out and cooling down. The next thing we need to do is get the meat ready to pack out. So Donny, as we can see, our ball has uh, cooled down nicely. Mm -hmm. It's starting to get nice and dry on the inside. Yep. So what's the process now of getting this pretty decent sized moose, even though he's a young bull, out and off the mountain? All right, well, first we're gonna to try to do is make it as easy as possible. As you can see, he's already tied on the, on the one side. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing the opposite side of the animal. At least he'll stay in that position, it makes it much easier to work with. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the back leg, I'm gonna cut that off, and I'm gonna pull it over on my tarp. Obviously I have a tarp, comes in as many uses, mm -hmm. right? And then we'll skin it out and then we'll debone that hind, hind leg, and we'll come back and we'll do the front. Okay. And we'll take it from there. And then once we've done the front? I'll do the ribs, yeah. I'll show you how to debone the ribs. And the back strap, I'll tell you to take that back strap off and that side of the neck. And then what we'll do, we'll just, just flip them over and we'll just do, do, the, again. do the same thing so on the other side. every piece of edible meat yep. from top to toe. Yep. Good, yep. take it away. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim off this here that I don't want. Get rid of that. It's kind of messy anyway. Take it down nice and clean. Oh, now we can start our process of cutting this hair out. Anything you see like that you don't need, get rid of it. Now, the way I always does it, Ian, got, we already got the ball dislocated. Now there's a, a pelvic bone that runs right up through here. I follow my knife right up along it. As you can see, you can follow right up along it. And then you, I just start coming apart here. The trick is to always keep close to the bone. Let your knife do the work. As you're doing it, you're kind of pulling it away here. So we don't carry any bones out. When you gotta carry meat out, you can't you can't be dragging bones around all year. So I'll just like get it, get the meat all down to the skin, like such. And we should pretty well have it. Now we'll start to trim it off the skin. And as close as we can. Keep trying not to get no hairs on it. And it should be just disconnected right there. Now I'll take it over to my tarp on some dry ground. And as you can see, it's very easily handled. Is there a trick to skinning? Uh, not it's really. Up reasonably easy there compared to say a jack deer or a, a white bear. No, it's, it's fairly, it's fairly easy. It's, it's cooled down quite a bit, but you know, still a little bit soft there. It's not too bad. Just take your time. Here's you know, try to keep as clean as possible in the field. That's what you do when you get home. Once we do get that started, now we all got that side done. It's just a matter of flipping it over and continuing on.
tough, really tough skin on the moose. So if you find it tough cutting it, you're not going deep enough. That's done. Now, any hairs you see, always picking the hairs off. That's pretty clean, though. It is pretty clean, huh? Again, that tarp is going to save you a whole pile of mess. Now, I like to start on the opposite side. And as you can see, we do have to leave our proof of six. Basically, you just follow the ball as close as you can. Trim this off, we don't need that. And just follow the ball. See the bones coming from here, straight down. Pretty well find your cut. Just go in deep here. You hit your bone. There's your bone. Just follow it along. Staying nice and close to the bone there. Yeah. It's only saving all the meat. Yep. I mean, there's going to be a little bit left behind, but. I think you're doing pretty well there. Yeah. You'll get pretty much all. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Just take your time. Follow the bone. I think that is some good advice, is, is being very patient when yeah. you're meat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's no rush right now. Animal's down. Stay on the meat. See, there's not a hell of a lot of meat left on there. There's still quite a lot of weight left in that one. Look at all the weight there. Yeah. Now look how high that is. That's his hip joint. It's up to my shoulder. I'm six foot tall. <laughs> that shows you how good, how well, how easy it is for those critters to get through the woods and real fast. Anyway, a bear's going to enjoy munching on these bones. So there we have it. One haunch done with a shoulder back straps, ribs and neck meat to go. Next time on Team Wild's Carnivore, Ironbound Outfitters Master Moose Guide Donnie Benoit shows us how to remove and debone a moose shoulder ready to pack out. To book your moose hunting adventure of a lifetime with Ironbound Outfitters, visit newfoundlandmoose.com. 
subscribe to Team Wild TV to stay up to date with our brand new and exciting lineup of shows for 2013. 